In this short demonstration, you will learn how to perform a safe resident or guest chair-to-chair -chair transfer and a fall recovery using a gate belt. In this segment, we're going to demonstrate how to safely transfer a resident from a sitting chair to a wheelchair using a gate belt. The CNA is applying the gate belt low and snug around the trunk of the resident so that she can use the gate belt to help the resident stand without putting any pressure in the armpits or using the arms to lift the resident. Here she instructs the resident to lean back and scoot the hips forward so that they are in optimal position to rise to stand. She positions the wheelchair at 90 degrees and ensures that the brakes are locked so that this will be a safe transfer. She instructs the resident where to put his hands. The left one will help him push up from the chair he's sitting in to stand, while the right one will help guide him into the seat he is moving into. They counted to three together to make sure they were working as a team, and she kept good body mechanics throughout the transfer. In this segment, we demonstrate how to safely help a resident rise from a wheelchair to standing with the support of a front-wheeled walker, and then take a few steps over to a sitting chair and transfer safely to a sitting position. Again, we use the gate belt, as we always do for any safe transfer, to avoid pressure in the armpits or using the arms of the resident to facilitate transfers. Once the gate belt is in place, we talk the resident through the sequence of pushing up from the wheelchair and then grabbing the walker as she comes to stand. As in the prior segment, we cue the resident to scoot the hips forward so that they are in optimal position to get their weight over their feet as they rise to stand. We counted to three together, and she pushed with her arms as well as her legs to stand. We always check posture once folks are standing. It's a great opportunity to make sure folks are rising to their full height, which improves their balance and makes the walk over to the receiving chair even safer. Here she turns, and we cue to bring the walker all the way back till it's touching the chair along with her legs so that she can then reach back safely for the armrest and lower herself in a controlled way. In this video, we find that a resident has fallen to the ground while trying to self-transfer from a sitting chair to a wheelchair. The very first thing we're asking is whether or not they hit their head. This resident says they did not. Now we're checking arms, legs, shoulders, hips, asking if there's anywhere that hurts. Once he confirmed that nothing was hurting, we then check arm movement, grip strength, leg movement, and then we have them do a brief bridging exercise where they lift their hips up off the ground. All of these things then clear us from concern over injury and demonstrate that the patient has likely the strength and the mobility to work with us to regain a standing position and get back into a chair from the floor. We apply the gate belt, as we always do, for safe transfers of any kind. And then we begin talking the resident through the sequence of rolling to his left side, slowly gaining a hands and knees or quadruped position, and then, with help, slowly working his way to a standing position, and then sitting safely in the wheelchair. We position the wheelchair just far enough out of the way to not be in the way but as close as possible so that once he gains the hands and knees position, he's within a very short reach of grabbing the armrest of the wheelchair. Here that he is on hands and knees, we then instruct the right hand and then the left hand to walk up to the arms and then using the gate belt, assist him to stand after he has gotten his left leg forward so that his foot is flat on the floor to rise. Once standing, we can use the gate belt to guard and assist him in turning 180 degrees to sit safely.